In this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how much our Airbnb lost in 2022 and why I still think it's a good investment heading into 2023. Hey, my name is Will Draper, and if this is the first time to my channel, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell. It would mean the world to me. All right, now let's get into the content. So my wife and I bought our first Airbnb type property in July of 2022. Now we had done some flips and some property banking and some other small stuff here and there, but this was our first Airbnb property. And needless to say, we were super excited about it. I mean, my wife has always wanted to have a beach house and I've always wanted to buy an Airbnb property. And actually because of this, I want to buy a whole bunch more. So when we bought the property, it was listed at $550,000. Now it was on Topsail Island of North Carolina, which is an island off of the coast. And from the property, you could see both the ocean and the sound. So it had an amazing location. It was one of those no brainers, fell in love with it instantaneously. We had to have it. So like I said, listed at $550,000. The market was still a little crazy when we put it under contract, which is around May of 2022. So we had to offer 575 to get it under contract. So come to closing day, early July, and we had to put down $127,000. Now that was our 20% down payment along with our closing costs and escrows and all that other fun stuff. So when we bought the property, it was already rented by a rental management company in the area and they had it booked out from July through August. And before we put it under contract, we checked the rental history and it looks like it was completely booked from April, May, June, July, August, and September of pretty much every year for the past five years. So going into it, we knew it had six months a year of good rental inventory. And the other people that owned it before us actually lived there the other six months. So we knew we could potentially rent it a little bit more. So we felt pretty safe that it was gonna be a good investment for us. So after we bought it, uh, once the rental company agreement expired, we let them go and then we set it up on Airbnb, VRBO, and a couple other sites. And as soon as we did, we started getting bookings immediately, which was super awesome. After we spent some time there as well, we realized we definitely need to do some renovations in the bathrooms. So we ended up spending another twenty-five dollars or $26,000 to renovate the bathrooms and kind of get it up to snuff for us. And we knew that was going to be a good investment because we could potentially charge more and make a little bit more because of it. So at the end of 2022, when we look at the books, we spent $127,000 on the down payment and the closing costs and all that good stuff. We spent another $25,000 or so on renovations and then we had the mortgage and then we had the HOA dues and then our utilities. The total cost for every penny we spent was right around $177,000. Now, during that time, we also rented it for a total of around $20,000 of rental income. We could have rented it for more, but honestly, we first bought the beach house and me and my wife and my kids actually tried to spend as much time there as we could and probably about a month total between July and the end of 2022. We just enjoyed it for ourselves. So we could have rented it for more, but we wanted to spend some time there ourselves. So the grand total of $177,000 spent and about $20,000 of rental income, our net loss on it was $157,000. Ouch, that kind of hurts. But I'm still super excited heading into 2023. And here's why. When I run the numbers in the area and what's going on on the Airbnb world, it looks like I'll be able to rent this for right around 68,000, maybe 70,000 at the most next year. Now, the cost to us to carry this house for an entire year is right around $54,000. So anything above that is cash flow positive. So we stand to make anywhere between 15 and $17,000 of net profit, if you will, for next year. Now, that doesn't seem like a ton of money, but that's about $1,500 a month or so. And another benefit that well, I didn't quite expect was the increase in value we've seen since we purchased the property. Like I said, when we bought it at $550,000, we had to spend 575, we put another 25 into it. So we thought it was gonna be around $600,000. We just had an analysis done and the estimate came back at $650,000. So we gained a net $50,000 in equity and we stand to make about $15,000 in positive cash flow next year. So that's why I'm excited about it as our investment going into next year. We're gonna have some positive cash flow and we've earned some equity with it. So let me know in the comments below if you think this is a good investment, a bad investment, or if you have any questions, I'm Will Draper. See you next time.